Hello, welcome to the Jorah's Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Today we have another viewer requested review. Uh, we're reviewing Tales from the Crypt Season 3, Episode 11, uh, Split Second, which came out August 7, 1991. This stars Liz Kelly... Sorry, uh, Michelle Johnson as Liz Kelly, Brian James from as uh, Steve, and Billy Wirth as Ted. Brian James, you'll know from uh, he did two uh, Rugger Hauer movies, Blood and Bone, and obviously Blade Runner. And he had like a small role in um, the Fifth Element. Uh, this episode is directed by Russell McCauley, who directed uh, Highlander. Uh, and also, I think he also directed the the Shadow with uh, Alec Baldwin. So, uh, with this episode, it's about this um, woman named Liz Kelly, uh, who's kind of um, let's say she's like, lack of a better word, word, uh, not very ill moral uh character <laughs> she's stuck in this like mountain town like working at a, like at a tavern uh she makes like no money so she, it's implied that she does um little side jobs on the side usually involving truckers and their cars <laughs> and their trucks sorry and uh she, one of her um one of her like um, patrons uh, ch tries to uh, rape her or some shit. <laughs> it's not ex exactly clear how far he was gonna go and why like nobody was doing nothing. But he 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 gets very rough with her in, in the bar in front of everybody. Here uh, then here comes Steve the lumberjack foreman. Played by Brian James, who pulls out a fucking gun on him, and uh, and smacks the guy around, uh, saves Liz Kelly, and then they get married. And uh, the problem is he is he he's very uh, protective of her, <laughs> to say the least. And uh, and if anybody sp uh, talks ill of her, he gets violently angry and beats, nearly kills. Uh, one of his uh, workers for uh, making a joke at his wife's expense, or he didn't even make the joke. It was the black guy that did. He just laughed at it, laughed at it, and nearly gets his teeth knocked the fuck out. And uh, what ends up happening is she's she's starting to regret marrying this guy on the spot. No shit. And um, did I mention they got married after one night stand? Well, they did. <laughs> Uh, what ends up happening is this young man shows up. He kind of looks like the he looks like the new Leon Kenley from the Resident Evil 2 remake. Uh, his name he's played by Billy Wirth. The main character uh, the character's name is uh, Ted. Let me look this guy up. Uh, for a second I thought it was the same guy, but it's not. Yeah, this guy was in, like, movies like The Lost Boys, War Party, Body Snatchers, 1993. I still need to watch that movie. I heard it's fucking cool. But yeah, like, if, if you look at... He doesn't look at, like it now, but if you look at old pictures of him, he totally looks like uh, Lee, uh, Leon Kennedy. Um, yeah. So... He shows up. He's a young, attractive male. He's kind of like uh, a vagabond. Not a vagabond. <laughs> uh, he's kind of like, you know, th he's just this young guy who's like, you know, going to town to town. You know, just, you know, backpacking it. And he needs money, so he starts working at the logging camp uh, cabin. And what ends up happening is uh, the slutty wife... <laughs> Tries to seduce him, gets him in trouble, uh, and try almost rapes him, but then like he gets, it, you know, like like in it's like a reverse Bible black where it's like chick chick tries to rape it, and he's like, okay, let's fuck it, fuck it. 
and uh, Brian James uh, shows up, beats him. You would think he would beat him to death because he hit him with a, with the back of an axe on his head like three times or so. You would think that would have killed him, but no, it just blinded uh, uh, Ted. And I should mention, as soon as Brian James walks in on them, his his sunny wife just screams, He tried to rape me! He was raping me! It's like, oh my god. This is a very uh, MGTOW red-pilled episode of Tales from the Crypt. And um, I would say this, the episode... After that, I don't want to spoil it, but like, after that, that this episode had like kind of an unpredictable ending. Well, I, I guess I shouldn't say unpredictable, cause like, uh, I'm just gonna spoil it. like the 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 work the workmen um get uh, Billy to sorry uh, Ted to chop up <laughs> the the. Brian and his w wife into pieces by putting them in logs and teaching him how to use the f the fucking chainsaw even though he's blind <laughs> which is uh, I guess that's why it's called split second I don't fucking know even though he ch sorry he chopped the guy into three fucking pieces <laughs> so it's like dude <laughs> uh yeah I don't know why yeah, sh the episode would have made more sense if they call it pieces instead of like split second, but whatever. They did. So I I honestly really enjoyed the ending for this episode. You had some poetic justice at the end. Um, it was very well shot. Um, the acting was good. I don't know. It's just... I would have been nice. That's the thing with these Tales from the Crypt episodes. They're a little too short uh, for me. I feel, like, I feel like they would be better off if they were like an hour. Because like these... It feels like they kind of just rush them too much. But yeah, I really enjoyed this episode. I just thought it would have been another fucking episode where it was going to be like, you know, the wife kills the husband or husband kills the wife, you know, vice versa. I, I was getting sick of those fucking episodes. Uh, honestly, I kind of wish we would get more supernatural episodes. Because if you checked out my um, Tales from the Crypt comic review that I did for Halloween month, all the sh all the sh short stories in that comic book were were all like were all like supernatural, except for the one where the guy gets like his eyes like. Uh, transplant with uh, bat eyes but then again like he turned into like a vampire bat human so that's kind of supernatural -esque. but yeah I I just uh, would be nice if we got like another supernatural episode but yeah I w this is still a good episode I'm giving it a 6.5 Re really enjoyed this one all right peace